wind energy and solar and biomass are the three things we can use in Minnesota as an economic driver for our future. Because, you know, if we can keep our energy dollars in our communities, that's a huge value in the long term. I mean, the environmental values are important and good, but they are there regardless of how the resource is developed. Uh, whereas the, um, the ownership model actually turns out to matter for whether these benefits stay local or not. We've seen studies that show that if you measured all the economic impact of a wind farm, that if there's local ownership and all that local participation, the economic spin-off and the job spin-off is two to four times more than you would get from a large corporate ownership of a, uh, that's outside of our state. So we're, we're talking about the good stuff. We're not talking about gross, we're talking about net. So what people actually take home as a result of these projects being developed, and that's gonna show up in the form of a profit stream to local owners if it is a local project. Well, I mean, when we develop a, a project in a community, we use the local lawyers and the local accountants and the local bank and the local cement guys and the local electricians and all of these different disciplines that go into the making of the technology. And so, I mean, it kind of feeds on itself. And, and again, that's the whole concept behind community development is to keep those energy dollars in our community every year.